Hello and welcome to my first video tutorial. My name is Mario Zhekov, aka Green Marine, and I'd like to show you some of the functionalities of the Code Blocks IDE um, together with uh, with the Quake C language. First of all, what I did was um, importing the Quake C source code and also Dark Places engine. Dark Places can easily be used as a project because there's already the functionality to import dev C++ projects which the Dark Places repository provides and you basically get immediately the sources, header files, build instructions, etc. with it. Okay, first of all I'd like to start um, showing some of the features. I have some source code files opened and what I like so much about this IDE is that you get basically all the functions that you're used to from other IDEs as well. For example, I can go to any source code here and if I decide that I want to view this function, I just um, right click and click on find implementation. And voila, I'm there. I'm basically directly inside the function and can look what the function is doing and if I decide to go back to the previous file where I was going into this function, I hold down the Alt key, arrow left, and I'm back in the source file where I opened this function. Really easy, really fast. I can also um, see when I double click a variable, I get all the other occurrences of this variable inside this file, which is also very handy, especially if you're working with parameters and this stuff. Apart from that you get the basic syntax highlighting, you get code folding, you can fold complete uh, functions if you like. And what else do we have? Well we also get to the implementations. Um, we do not only get to the implementations of the functions but also to the declaration which is right click find declaration. And I will get to the file where the functions are declared, which is really a handy feature. Um, we also have autocompletion. For example, if you, I don't know, want to call some function in here, like some check function, I don't know what exists, just hold um, control and space, like you're used to it from other IDEs, and you can have a look at the functions that exist, or variables that exist, be it globals or local variables. This is a global, for example, or maybe a function. This is a function. I can also open it, and if it had parameters like this player score at from right above it, I would actually see the parameters here. It's really a handy feature. Okay, what else do we have? There's also a going back inside files. For example, if you have some function and you know that this function is not implemented in another file, but it is implemented in this file, I'm not sure whether this is the case here. Yeah, actually it is. Very good. Um, then I can decide to go uh, back to the same position where I used to be. Unfortunately, I don't know <laughs> where I was just at this at this second but you can do this by placing some kind of bookmark of your current position just by holding down your left mouse button for a little bit longer like this and then you see the small dots or in other files I don't know why it is changing you would see uh, some other representation of this well in most of the cases you see that something happened here and when you then go into a function which is in the same file, but then after you after you looked at the function, you want to go back, you just hold Alt and arrow up or arrow down, depending on the position relative to your current position, to get back. And if you want to delete all these virtual bookmarks, you just hold Control and then click with your left mouse button. Everything is basically explained because you have to enable this feature in the editor settings in the tum -tum, browse tracker. You have to enable this one 
and you can also set up how this uh, marker is looking like. You can also set up the delay. Yeah. So, apart from that, there are some very handy uh, shortcuts which are also all explained here. For example, if you want to know how can I get to the declaration or into the implementation of a function that I'm currently selecting, don't hesitate to use these um, shortcuts here because they are so much faster. One very nice uh, shortcut is, for example, Alt and G because you can select any file you want to open. For example, you know, you want to open some CSQZ file, let's say, well, I don't know. Maybe this file. And then you decide, oh, I need to find a function inside this file, control alt G. And you can actually also look at this for uh, look for terms inside the function name, for example. I know I need a think function and ah there it is, and I can just double click double click it and go there. Also, of course, in general, note that you can use the symbols browser. The symbols browser shows whatever you like. In my place I have the projects Nexus, QuakeZ and Dark Places and that's why I also decide to only show the uh, the symbols of this current project, the NextQZ and not everything which would also be from DP, Dark Places, but only my project symbols and I can uh, select whether I want to see the global functions or the global variables. And any variable I see and I would like to see uh, to open for example I know I have some timeout stuff or whatever. Ah, there it is. And it gets me here. Double click. And I'm in there. Also a very handy feature is to look for occurrences inside a file. Just uh, right click and click on find occurrences. And what happens is, in my case I have a s I've got a separate window. Uh, I just have to get it in a way that it's not integrating somewhere. Some little bit tricky. Oh, doesn't seem to be working. Okay, then it's integrated. The good thing is that you will see the result and you can preview the result. For example, you will see it here in a new window but you don't have to double click it unless it is really the thing, the well, the hit that you were actually looking for. And only once you double click, you will open it here on the right side on in your main window. I'll just remove it from this view again. It's also very handy if you have several screens, you can just pull these extra windows at another location which you like more. What is also cool is if you are using um, built-in functions and you would like to have a look how the built-in function looks like um, when you actually don't know, uh, don't find any comments for them or whatever. For example, I have to look where and entity. Da -da -da -dum. For example, you have these built-in header files everywhere. For example, for the menu, uh, well, men maybe the menu is not the best example, but I can now use Alt G, select file, and I know it's somehow um, a built-in thing, and there I get all the built-in files. I now I want to see, let's say, the server built-ins, and I have the list here now, and I know ah, uh, I want to know what this function does because naturally if I hit a uh, control point I will not get any uh, any implementation of this function because it is not defined in QuakeC but I get this number 67 I copy it and put it into my into my thread search here <laughs> now I have to integrate it again and I'm looking for it and of course the problem is that I need to activate my Dark Places project now because it's only looking inside my current project. And actually I just would like to try something out, although I don't think it works. No, it doesn't. Okay, anyway, I will see now my the search results 
inside the engine project and it's this one and it shows me this array which declares all these pointers to the uh, functions and when I'm here I just go into the implementation because it's a pointer to the function and there I am and I can look at the code what it's doing maybe see some of the great comments Mr. Lord Havoc is placing or well basically reverse engineer the code which you have to do anyway if you want to be good at Quake C or Dark Places programming. Well this is basically it. I hope I was able to show you some of the um, tips and tricks using this code blocks IDE. I have unfortunately not yet found out how to set up the compiler like FTE QZZ to be used inside the IDE. I still have to run the compile process out of this IDE and have to fix compile errors and find the line manually. But about finding lines, if you see a line error and you know the file, open the file like, I don't know, I ah, have to go back to the other project again. Uh -huh. And you want, you know the file where the, where the problem happened, for example here, then you can go to a specific line. If you know the line in 164, there was an error, you go there and you immediately see. So you don't have to scroll. Of course, in such a small file this is not necessary, but well, go to another file and you will know why. <laughs> I hope that I was, as I already said, able to help you a little bit with this IDE and have fun using it. Thanks.